How we doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Master Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C, and if you're a subscriber, thanks for watching. Uh, if it's your first time here, you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have found the right channel, so think about hitting that subscribe button below, and also think about hitting that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a new video. Uh, today we have something really cool, really different, unique. Uh, I have never tasted this before, really excited to get into it. This is the Bow Craft Spirits brand new bottling called Dovetail. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so a little bit about Barrelcraft Spirits. They're based in Louisville, Kentucky. They're an independent bottler of unique aged sourced whiskey and even rum spirits. Now, the company blends products that explore different distillation methods, barrels and aging environments, uh, and bottles them all at cast strength, which is awesome. Now, every batch is produced as a limited release and all have a really distinct flavor profile. Their bottles are currently sold in about 42 states throughout the United States. So since 2014, Barrelcraft Spirits has been releasing a lot of award-winning bourbons and the occasional rye and also rum, as I mentioned. Now, since no two expressions are ever the same, Barrelcraft has quickly acquired kind of a cult following of sorts. Uh, and its newly released Barrelcraft Spirits 15-year-old bourbon, which retails for around $250, was named American Whiskey of the Year by acclaimed whiskey critic Fred Minnick. All right, so this takes us to today's review, uh, where Barrelcraft Spirits have really taken barrel finishing to another level with this new release called Dovetail. Now, it is a blend of a 10-year-old Indiana whiskey finished in Dunn Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon casks, and 11-year-old Tennessee whiskey finished in Blackstrap rum casks and late bottle vintage port pipes. In fact, it has so much of a finishing character to it that the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau uh, wouldn't allow Barrel to call it a whiskey, which is why it's actually called Dovetail. So Barrelcraft Spirits founder Joe Beatrice and master distiller Trip Stimson uh, worked on Dovetail for almost a year and seemed to care about releasing more interesting of a spirit that's high quality more than they do fitting it into a specific category, which I think is really cool. Now this blend is bottled at cast strength of 61.45% ABV or 122.9 proof. It has an MSRP of $80 and became available as of December in 2018. All right guys, so here's a closer look at the bottle. One thing that's always stood out to me about Battlecraft Spirits is their bottle design. It's, uh, it's very distinct. Uh, it seems it's kind of a simple, kind of elegant design. I really like it. So again, as I mentioned for Dovetail, this is a blend of 10 year old Indiana whiskey finished in Cabernet Sauvignon casks and 11 year old Tennessee whiskey finished in Blackstrap rum casks and late bottle vintage port pipes. Uh, it's bottled at cast strength at 61.45% or 122.9 proof. So let's get into this a little bit. Let me cut the uh, little tape up here. All right, let's uncork this. And, ooh, squeaky. Ooh, that smells amazing on the cork. All right, let's get a pour. Oh, I tripped a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I've been swirling this around for about 10 minutes now, trying to release some of those aromas, those flavors, you know, bottled at 122.9, really trying to release a lot of those notes. So before we get into it, let's get into the color a little bit. It's a nice dark golden honey color, maybe a hint of amber in there. Really sticks to the glass well, really coating it. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking whiskey. All right, guys, so I'm excited. Let's get into the nose on this one. It's already, could already start smelling it. Here we go. Wow, really, really heavy uh, rum note on here. That, that rum, uh, that Blackstrap rum cask influence is definitely on the nose. It's got a, you're definitely getting those typical vanilla caramels from the, you know, really nice uh, aged whiskey. Chocolate covered raisin. Definitely, definitely some really deep dark molasses sitting here that I could smell. Oh, you know what I smell on here? Uh, around the holidays, they make them. It's like a ginger snap cookie. It's like a spicy ginger note, but, you know, you have molasses mixed in there, too. It's like a ginger snap cookie. Mm. 
And underneath all that, really, as it's opening up now, I'm getting a really nice uh, dark fruit flavor, almost like a strawberry jam. Strawberry, blueberry, maybe. It's, that's got to be from the Cabernet cask, uh, the Cabernet cask influence in there. Wow, the nose is just super inviting and delicious. I mean, you could probably sit with this for hours and just pick apart different flavors. Probably different for everyone. All right, guys, I am ready to taste this stuff. Hope you're ready too. Here we go. First sip. Cheers. Let's get into it. Whoa. Wow, did that light my palate up. Wow, you really feel the alcohol on the first sip. Mmm. Oh, but now the finish. All right, all those deep, dark flavors I was getting on the nose, definitely getting them on the finish. But, uh, you know, that first sip, all I really got was alcohol. So let's get to that second sip and see what we get here. Cheers. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that dark molasses, that ginger snap cookie I was getting on the nose, I'm getting on the palate. It's like caramel and vanilla meat. Super dark molasses, ginger, really immediately just, that's what I'm getting hitting so far in the palate. But now on the finish a little bit is where that kind of the darker fruit is starting to show itself a little bit. All right, let's go for another quick sip here. Cheers. Wow, so this is crazy. So each sip I take, it's just getting better and better and different things are showing itself. So as we talked about, this is finished in port, rum, Cabernet Sauvignon casks, and I feel like you get a little bit of each of those influences as you keep sipping on it. In the front, you're getting that really nice dark molasses note, uh, probably more likely from the rum. Then the, those dark fruits kind of make their way onto the palate as it works its way down with the uh, probably some of the Cabernet and the port finishing. Mm. And then kind of intermingled in there, you have just some really beautiful vanilla and caramel influences too. It's, you know, just from, from the different types of wood that it's been in, it's really delicious. All right, this stuff's just too damn good. I'm gonna go in for one last sip and see what we get now. It's because it just keeps kind of evolving here as I sip on it, so cheers, last sip. Ah, oh, the finish, the finish. Let me talk to you about the finish. <laughs> it's oaky, it's spicy. It's dark fruits. It's a little bit of maybe some cocoa powder in there and really just really great sugary sweetness. This is one of those bottles that is going to definitely, I could already tell it's going to evolve over time. Different flavors are going to come out as I keep sipping on this. It's absolutely delicious. Um, like I mentioned, you get on the front, it takes you through kind of a dark rum molasses experience, uh, kind of trending into a little bit more caramel vanilla maybe more some more typical bourbon notes there. And then it gets into these dark fruits, cocoa, sugary sweetness on the finish, coupled with that vanilla oak. It's, it's a super, super amazing blend by Battlecraft Spirits. This is really, really delicious. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this uh, and see if it opens it up, it changes. It is 122.9 proof. So I have a little bit of water here. So let's drop this in a couple drops. Now, my palate has gotten used a little bit to the alcohol flavors in here, but I'm hoping that it can maybe open up some more of those sweet flavors. All right, guys, so this has been sitting in here for about five, six minutes, it's been swirling around. Uh, let's see what we get on the nose here. Oh, it definitely, definitely got sweeter. Now it's just pure rum candy in there. Wow, a lot of those fruit flavors have really kind of bursted out now too. Uh, the It's not really hiding behind the alcohol anymore. It's definitely brought it down a notch. Mm, this is like strawberry jam, cocoa powder. Wow, I'm actually really enjoying this with a little bit of water in it. It's really kind of cool on the nose. Mm, that rum sweetness, that molasses, really, really coming through now with a little bit of water. All right, let's try on the palate, guys. Here we go. Cheers. Wow, so what it really did, oh, that's really interesting. Oh my God, that is pure strawberry, blackberry jam on the finish. It totally brought out the fruit flavors from the wine and the port are really at the forefront, especially on the finish. Wow, that's really surprising because uh, the, the alcohol a little bit, 
it's definitely kind of dissipated. But wow, the fruit flavors on this now, just adding a little bit of water really opened it up. I'm gonna go in for another sip here. You're still getting that, that really nice rum characteristics up front, the molasses. But where the water made its influence is the, the finish on it. The finish on it just got a lot sweeter. Um, the molasses is still there. That sugary sweetness is still there on the finish without water. But now there's just such a burst of fruit flavor there. For me, it's strawberry, maybe a blueberry jam. Oh, that is so good. Wow, That's, it's a really, really impressive whiskey. All right, guys, so personally for me, I've tried a few of the different barrel bourbons that included actually batches 14, 15, and 16. Really enjoyed the 14 a lot, but 15 and 16 weren't really my type of flavor profile, and I think that's kind of the beauty of what barrel, uh, barrel bourbon does. Uh, each bottle is very unique, and I think that explains maybe the cult following. Everybody wants to try the new bottle that comes out to see if it's going to be their favorite. Um, what I do think that's really amazing about this is what and what Barrel is doing is really the whiskey series. Uh, they're finishing what they're doing with brandy, cognac, sherry. Today we saw what they're doing with rum, uh, cabernet, and port. They're really taking high quality whiskeys, blending them together just beautifully. In this bottle and the dovetail, those combination of flavors just work in a really beautiful, distinct, very unique way. The mouthfeel on it, the proof, the 122.9. What you're getting in there is just absolutely delicious. I think when it goes down, it sips down even further. I, I have a feeling it's just gonna get better and better. This is one of the few whiskeys that I've actually enjoyed even more with water. Those dark fruits and really came out. Um, those looking for a really amazing whiskey experience, kind of a roller coaster ride of flavors. If you're really into finished whiskeys for $80, this is an absolute must pick up. Um, if you're more of a whiskey traditionalist, not into those fruit flavors, maybe this is something you don't pick up, but I still would encourage you that if you see this or happen to get a pour of it, to try it. I think you'll be really surprised at how amazing this whiskey is. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for dropping by the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. Really appreciate you coming by and watching this review for Barrelcraft Spirits Dovetail. Uh, I loved it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. You can find me on Instagram, and you can also find me on Twitter. Let me know what your favorite Barrel Craft Spirits uh, bottle is, what batch, if you've had Dovetail, what you think. Love talking with you guys. And as I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. So cheers, everyone, and I'll see you next time.